Hey guys, Marvin Sykes here. Now, you're on this video because you're trying to figure out how do you do Twitter campaigns. Well, I was the guy that wanted to find out, so I had to learn. So once I learned, guess what? I decided to show you guys. So as you can see, I'm on my Twitter account. You go up here and you click on this little wheel right here, of course, and then you just slide down to Twitter ads. Once you go on to Twitter ads, well, I already got a campaign running, as you can see. And you want to create a new campaign. So once the new campaign comes up, it's going to ask you, which one do you want to do? Gain more followers or reach more people with your tweets? Now, just to give you a little clarity, gain more followers on the left over here does exactly what it says. It's going to promote your post or your Twitter page so you can pick up more followers. For this training here, I'm going to show you how to promote a new tweet so you want to promote tweets campaign so of course you got to name your campaign whatever you want to name your campaign you put the name in up here so let's just go test for uh i got to spell it right test for training purposes how soon do you want to start it you want to start it immediately and what do you want to use choose your primary method of targeting how do you want to use keywords television series interests and followers or tailored audiences well i like keywords keywords you get to enter the keywords or phrase that you want to target so let's say if you want to target you know fathers and then you bring that in here or say father's day any any tweets that came up with father's day or anything in that um in that tweet your message will go out to those people. Now, you can put as many keywords in here that you want to target. Um, you can actually import, import multiple keywords. So let's say if you made a bunch of keywords and you have them on an on a, on a Excel sheet, you can download it right into this uh, keyword planner right here, and you can have those targeted. So now, choose which location you want to be in. Of course, I want to choose the United States. You can choose any country pretty much that you want. You can import locations. All right, now, customize where promoted tweets appear. Now, you can customize where your tweets appear, on the timeline or in the search results. I have mine normally set for both. So you want it on, on, on your timeline, on the user's timelines, and when they're searching for things, you want it to appear. Common sense. All right, now, this right here, Select which device and platforms you wish to target. Me, I like desktops and laptops, and I also do iPhones and Android devices. That's where I want my searches to turn up. Some people don't want them turned up there because, you know, they say sometimes people thumbs can click on your on your uh, on your tweet, and that can cost you, you know, a click or whatever. Me, I'm bid and low anyway, so if it's gonna cost me three cents, four cents, or five cents. I, I think I can spare a nickel, all right? So now, um, limit targeting by gender. You can choose who you want this to, who you want to target, whether male only, female, or any gender. You can actually pick a language, you know, limited targeting by languages. Um, leave that blank if you don't want to target any specific language. It goes out, of course, in English. Now, now here you can exclude people. You know, you can exclude certain audiences, but for training purposes, we're not going to get into that. That's another video. Now, now you can choose which tweet that you want. Manually select which one you want, whichever tweet you want to use, all right, or automatically promote. All right, we will promote up to five of your most engaging or recent tweets, meaning the ones that had the most activity, uh, Twitter will pick those and have those tweeted out for you, all right? Now, this is where you choose your budget. Now, set your total budget. Let's say if you want to do $75, you don't want to go past there, and then you want a daily budget of, let's say, $5, and then, as you can see up here, the suggested bid is $1.50 to two twenty, dollars and over here it's telling you um, you can pay anywhere from one penny to a $1.85 per engagement. Well, what I like to do is go point zero two. And now I'll pay two cents. Um, I actually did one recently and I did five cents for every engagement. Now you just save and review it. Let's say if I'm going to use it, you know, correct problems above the launch this campaign. 
no tweet was selected. As you can see, I go back and modify it. Then I go back and I choose a tweet. But I'm not going to choose a tweet that I'm going to pick because you basically get the gist of what we did. So budgeting this is entirely up to you how much you want to put in here, how much you want to spend. And you can actually put your dollar amounts. Now, I have a campaign that I actually started uh, just before this. And it's actually running. You can see I have 49 impressions already, 4 engagements. Let's refresh it and see. All right, 50 engagements. Cost me 15 cents right now for 4 people clicking on it with 50 impressions already. So it's already uh, starting to get some activity on a tweet that I actually did before I did this video. So hopefully you guys get it. Play around with it. It's, it's pretty cool. And here's to making you a lot of money. Follow me. Like my YouTube video. Talk to you soon. If you're looking to generate leads in your business, go to GetMorePartners.com. Talk to you soon. Marvin Sykes out of here.